Hi everyone, this is Bill, and welcome back to the channel. We appreciate you checking in. I'm really excited. As a stock investor, I'm always looking around to educate myself on new technologies and stocks which may be future breakout stars. With that in mind, since their inception of their fun family, I've always been attracted to the goings-on with Kathy Wood and her ETF over at ARK Invest Funds. Kathy Wood is the CEO and Chief Investment Officer over at ARK Funds, and the funds are focused on companies that are disrupting entire industries. Seemingly against conventional wisdom, ARK Funds has been accurately perhaps the strongest advocate for Tesla. Another disruptive company ARK has a heavy investment presence in is Square, which is disrupting personal banking. Just this week, it was announced that ARK has surpassed J.P. Morgan for the largest actively managed exchange-traded fund. The fund performances at ARK speak for themselves, and I will disclose that I do hold shares of the ARK Innovation Fund. One of the areas in which Wood and her team focuses is in the medical arena, where impressive performers like Teladoc, Editus Medicine, and CRISPR Therapeutics are in the fold. All ARK's funds I find important for study, but one in particular I've always found most intriguing, the ARK Genomic Revolution ETF. ARK notes, quote, companies within ARKG are focused on and are expected to substantially benefit from extending and enhancing the quality of human and other life by incorporating technological and scientific developments and advancements in genomics into their businesses. The companies held in ARC G may develop, produce, or enable CRISPR, targeted therapeutics, bioinformatics, molecular diagnostics, stem cells, agricultural biology. ARC will be concentrated in issuers in any industry or group of industries in the healthcare sector, including issuers having their principal business activities in the biotechnology industry. Wow, this is a futuristic and disruptive arena that I want to concentrate in to be sure. Of note, in full disclosure, I hold ARCG's top holding, CRISPR Therapeutics, and their eighth top holding, Teladoc Health. So with all this in mind, did you guys happen to catch the bombshell news which set the medical world on fire last week? What I know about chemistry you could put in a thimble, but stay with me on this one. As DeepMind.com reports, Proteins are essential to life, supporting practically all its functions. They are large, complex molecules made up of chains and amino acids. And what a protein does largely depends on its unique 3D structure. Figuring out what shapes proteins fold into is known as the protein folding problem and has stood as a grand challenge in biology for the past 50 years. In a major scientific advance, the latest version of the AI system AlphaFold has been recognized as a solution to this grand challenge by the organizers of the Biennial Critical Assessment of Protein Structure Prediction, or CASP. This breakthrough demonstrates the impact AI can have on scientific discovery and its potential to dramatically accelerate progress in some of the most fundamental fields that explain and shape our world. Professor John Moult, co-founder and chair of CASP at the University of Maryland, stated, We have been stuck on this one problem, how do proteins fold up, for nearly 50 years. To see DeepMind produce a solution for this, having worked personally on this problem for so long and after so many stops and starts, wondering if we ever would get there, this is a very special moment indeed. Folks, I have read several articles and watched many outstanding presentations from some fellow YouTubers to learn more about this, and while I've only scratched the surface, I can tell you that the experts in this field think this is perhaps a generational discovery with rippling, worldwide ranging positive effects. So, it would be reasonable to conclude that many stocks would benefit sharply from this discovery. But beyond Google, which joined forces with DeepMind in 2014, who might some of them be? If you thought Kathy Wood's ARC G ETF would be a great place to identify some beneficiaries, I think you're spot on. In fact, several stocks in the fund that we have already discussed and others have risen sharply since the announcement, including CRISPR Therapeutics, Twist Bioscience, Pacific Biosciences, and Editas Medicine, among others. Have we missed the boat as investors? Not a chance. We are at the beginning of trying to ride this wave to portfolio-changing profits. Well, before I forward my opinion and identify a stock in this arena that I recently invested in, please take a moment to like the video if you are enjoying the content, and do consider subscribing to our channel. We sure would appreciate it. Now it should be stated that I am not a licensed financial advisor, 
and given that I know nothing about your situation, I cannot dream of telling you what direction you should make with your portfolio. I can only offer some information and speculation and let you know what moves I am making or considering. So let's go. There is a stock which I have owned since July that I have recently added to, where in my estimation the company appears positioned to be a player in this arena in the future. That company is Fulgent Genetics, which trades on the NASDAQ for $45 a share under the symbol FLGT. Fulgent, a California company, states their mission is, quote, developing flexible and affordable genetic testing that improves the everyday lives of those around us. Founded in 2011, Fulgent began two simple ideas, flexibility and affordability. Today, they strive to create the most effective and wide-ranging tests on the market. All of this is done in pursuit of bettering the everyday lives of their customers. They shine the brightest when meaningful relationships, passion, and purpose come together. We can note from reviewing their website, something I always do as part of my research before making an investment decision on a company, that Fulton is involved in genes and panels, known mutation, genomic testing, hereditary cancer, tumor profiling, newborn genetics, carrier screening, and sequencing service. Doing a deep dive on the arenas Fulgen is involved in will boggle the mind. But boy howdy, this is right on the 50-yard line of areas I might expect to be important beneficiaries from the deep mind discovery. Fulgen Genetics states, quote, We aim to narrow the gap between the appearance of symptoms and the arrival of diagnosis by offering novel comprehensive genetic testing options designed for the evaluation of children with intellectual disability, congenital abnormalities, and other signs consistent with the genetic syndrome. Our chromosomal sequencing analysis maximizes both diagnostic yield and clinical efficiency by integrating multiple tests into one package. Right on! It should be noted that I cannot find any evidence that Kathy Wood and her team at ARC own Fulgent Genetics in any of their funds. I have no idea why this is the case, but just because ARC, who I have the greatest admiration of, does not own the stock does not mean the company cannot be a dynamic investment. Investors Business Daily gives Fulgent Genetics a composite rating of 99 its highest rating. All measure markers IBD employees show high ratings, with the earnings per share rating the lowest at 79, but that's much above average and somewhat expectable given the environment. In looking at the charts, we see Fulgent Genetics broke out of a base in late July, rising from $20 to just over $50. The stock then gapped down hard in heavy volume in September, based upon lowering COVID-related expectations threatening growth as noted in reporting by The Motley Fool. But the company is so much more than a COVID fighter. Fulgent has risen back on a wider base and broke above a downward sloping resistance level before falling back within the channel on lower volume. However, it should be noted that in the most current run-up since mid-November, overall volume has been escalated. It also should be noted that stocks in this arena can be very volatile, and we've seen that in Fulgent this week. The way I see it, Fulgent Genetics seems to be in the sweet spot for the emerging technological advancements that seem imminent, buoyed by the wonderful DeepMind announcement. There are stocks in these arenas well positioned to change the lives of people around the world. A more healthy world will lead to a more prosperous world and a brighter future for all. I'm quite excited by it all, and having stock ownership of a company like Fulgent Genetics seems a reasonable way to participate in these wonderful future developments. Well, we hope you enjoyed our scan of the landscape following the awesome medical news on protein folding. While Fulgent Genetics may or may not be a big winner, some names certainly will be. Do you own any of these stocks? What stocks are you initiating a position in or adding to a position in this arena? Please drop us some comments with your thoughts. As we conclude, please feel welcome to follow us on Facebook at Future Breakout and help us out by liking our video and subscribing to our page. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.